Okay. Um, every year, uh, the Rochester Against War has a peace parade that follows a Memorial Day parade and that mourns not only the deaths of the soldiers, but of all the innocent people caught up in the wars of empire and the wars of the one uh, percent, you might say, that are ongoing in the world. And so uh, this year we got our permit for the same time as usual so that we'd be able to follow the parade. And that and, permit was for 1130, correct? And our permit was for 1130 and there was no indication that any anything had changed. And usually the parade ends, the Memorial Day parade ends around 11.30 or 12, the last person steps off the curb, and we follow them. But this year, they made the parade very short, apparently, but they didn't mention it when we got our permit, even though they know that we do this every year. And so uh, we had a permit for 11.30, and the rest of the parade was already gone by 20 minutes, half an hour, when we went to begin. At the same time, we had our people gathering for a parade at 1130. And so what happened was that people weren't all in place when the police started herding people off the curb at about 20 after 11 and forcing them into the street to follow the parade, the main parade, because they didn't want to stay on duty any longer. They wanted to go on with their day and open up the road to traffic again. But our permit was for 1130. And we had a right to be on the street at 11.30. Uh, it's bad enough that the main parade had gone and the crowds were dispersing, but to then not allow us to, com uh, to complete gathering by pushing us off the curb early and uh, chasing us in cop cars, so to speak, really was, I think, uh, an abridgment of our rights. Uh, we had the permit, and we should have been allowed to march as a group, in our own time, as a, uh, with time to gather and go out. Because at that point, if the main parade was so far gone ahead of us, that was disappointing enough. But there was no point in rushing to catch up with them because that was never going to happen anyway. So our real issue then was just to be able to march as a group. And we weren't allowed to even do that. Meanwhile, we brought the drone and we didn't have enough people to handle it one of the pieces of the parade that got left behind uh, because it requires a little more attention than uh, just walking out with a poster. So uh, the person handling it just uh, with the wind and everything being the way they are, she wasn't able to control it very well. And so uh, now we find that uh, we're not going to be able to finish with the rest with the drone because again, they were forced to march really rapidly and take off early and the drone doesn't move rapidly down the street. It needs to move slowly to be controlled, and it needs a lot of people around it. So essentially, they completely, uh, they, we paid for our permit, and we did not get our permitted rights. We were uh, not allowed to have, the have our parade as we planned it. We were not given enough information to have it at the time that they know we would have preferred to have it, and even then, that wasn't enough. They had to stop us from marching as a group. Hello. So that's that's our other, tale of woe today. Other than that, I, I think it was more of a, a deliberate attempt to you know separate our rally, like to you know get us all mixed up, and then uh, not, all of a sudden they don't have their rally because we're forcing. You know, we don't have we didn't have anything together yet. And they forced us on there. So. Right, that's what I meant. It's I think they deliberately tried to manipulate us into uh, not being able to complete our full rally. And that was, it's a little bit disheartening.